Hey, let's talk. Oh. Hey, hey, let's mm -hmm. talk. About what? Hey, let's mm -hmm. talk. Okay. Let's, let's, let's talk. All right. You're now. tuning in to A hey, Let's Talk. Hey, what's up? Thank you guys so much for tuning in. It is me again, Lex. Yes, back again, your favorite Miffy. But uh, for real though, I had something. I know it's been a minute. It's, it's been on my spirit, y'all. And I just needed to talk about it. So, as a person with a communications degree, <laughs> you want to see it? Watch this. Look at it. Look at it. <laughs> ah. You see? You see? You see? Can you see it? That's all me, baby. That's all me. <gasps> when I'm not hurt. As a communication scholar, it has come to my attention that I need to highlight this situation and try to stop this epidemic if I can. What's crazy is the ease of technology has put us in a place that communication wise we're just lacking. It just seems like Everything is exchanged through text message or majority of things are exchanged through text message and some things just shouldn't be. And if you're texting me, I just won't respond to certain things. <laughs> For example, I don't care. I don't care. If you don't know me, if you're trying to get to know me, you cannot. You cannot text me what you're doing. W-Y-D what you got going if you do not intend on making plans after or before that statement I'll give you an example hey Lex what you doing I was wondering if you were interested in going to the movies this evening hey Lex um, I have free tickets to a Grizzlies game what you doing are you interested in going right now are you free in the next couple of hours that would be an appropriate interjection for a what you doing. He says, hey. I say, what's up? He takes what you doing. Why? Because what, what do you need to know what I'm doing for? Me telling you what I'm doing through text message is irrelevant. If we're on the phone, that's different. If you're hearing stuff in the background, that's different. If I have stuff going on and I'm on the way to something then then I can understand your curiosity but we're texting you can't text me what you're doing if you're not making plans for me especially if I don't know you so guys please 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 stop texting me what you're doing it's lacking like there's literally nowhere for the conversation to go for me after you ask me what you're doing I instantly become uninterested because of the what you doing. Why do you need to know what I'm doing? What? How is that relevant to you, your life, or the next chain of events that's about to happen? It ain't got shit to do with it. <laughs> Stop asking me what I'm doing. I'm not telling you. Call me. Or don't. I'm not responding to this. Stop. Just stop. Be more than the bare minimum. Like, I just feel like what you're doing is such a lazy way to text or have a, have a text conversation. Like, if you're so busy that you can't pick up the phone and ask me or talk to me to see what I'm doing, to see how my day was, don't text me what you're doing. Especially if you ain't got no intentions on making any plans. Bye. You don't need to know what I'm doing. Get over it. Had to get it off my chest. Get that off my chest. Do y'all know my little cousin just helped me realize that kids keep you humble. They don't even have to be your kids. They keep you humble. She told me this part of my hair looked like hamburger meat. And I thought I was cute. <laughs> I really did. I thought I was cute. And she, and she said, I was like, dang, it is kind of kind of curly right there and it it do kind of damn 
Do I really got hamburger meat hair? Really? It got hamburger meat hair? Is that me? But anyway, anyway. Lesson for today. If you're texting Lex and you're ready to be ignored, text me what you're doing. See how fast I don't respond. Lex out. <laughs> hey, let's talk. Oh, hey, hey, let's talk.